Well, look, joining me right now to discuss this as well is uh, Zoe Chowney, who's campaigner for, I'm told, the LGBT plus community. I don't think there is a LGBT plus community, but Zoe, thank you very much for joining us. Um, do you feel ashamed uh, that people like Graham Linehan and people like J.K. Rowling have been called bigots when they've simply said the same thing that the cast review says in black and white? You know what? Firstly, I'm not actually a campaigner for the for the community. Um, That's what I'm you a, build, build as to me. Apologies I, for that. I'm, I'm a founder and a, and, a, and a CEO of a fintech company, but I I also do some speaking on this subject. Mm. Um, what what I hate is all this polarization, this extremist on both sides. I think there are um, extreme views on the transgender side, which I think don't do anybody any good. What and are the extreme that, that views on the other side? I haven't heard any extreme views on the other side. Extreme views on the other side would be saying that people like me don't exist. And, no, but people and it's, don't it's not... say that. No, no. I th if people say, oh, <laughs> this dehumanisation, the eradication of trans people, no, simply saying that no-one's born in the wrong body. Of course you exist, but, I mean, you, you identify as a woman, but people say, you're a biological man, you're a man. Um, and you can live okay. how you want, dress how you want, live how you have live your best life. Wonderful, but it doesn't mean that but, we believe you're actually a woman. That doesn't mean you don't exist. That's not an extremist view. But, that's just you know, biological you know fact. That, and Julia, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that well, at it all. Wasn't I, I, I was it? Say, you know, you know, I, I'm I'm naturally quite a skeptical person. This whole thing with with trans kids, um, I would never think that was a thing. I would always think that. You know what? They're probably just confused or exploring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <clears throat> but it, it, but it happened to me. Um, I remember being very early childhood, being very distressed at the, the you know, my my sex like being being male, and I used to pray to a god every single night through my my entire childhood that I'd wake up, you know, with a different body, etc., etc. Does that and mean you should happened. have been given treatment? And were, I mean, did you get treatment no. early on or not? Do you think? But that's the. No. Do you think that children who are feeling unhappy and confused should get irreversible treatment like that? No, no, I don't. What, what I think should have, what I wanted, you know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting old now. I was, I was born in the early seventies, and what I wanted. I, I couldn't talk about it. You couldn't talk about these kind of issues, mm. at, you know, in, in those years. What I wanted was to be told that it's fine. Yeah. We can talk about it. Things be worked out in the fullness of time. You're not a complete weirdo. Well, you might be, but not for this particular reason. <laughs> <laughs> and You might be a little that, bit different, but that's okay. We like people and, who are and different. That, in, the fullness, in the fullness of time, things can be worked out. Um, with... What frustrates me is the fact that you know some trans people and some people that kind of seem to be quite against the trans community seem to be so so far apart and there's so much aggression between them, and I just think I just, it upsets me. I, I don't. don't I see. Nice. I don't accept that. I don't think. I don't think there's been toxic debate on on my side of the argument. No one's against trans people. J.K. Rowling's mm. accused of being a bigot. She's never said a single negative word about trans people. Mm. She's talked about activists who target her and the and the threat mm. to women's safety and, and 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 safe places. I mean, the toxicity has been entirely on one side. I. Do you know what? I think it's a bit like a bunch of school children. To be honest, I think it's. I think there's. You know, I'm trying to think of examples, but I've, I've read things that have made me feel comfortable from both sides of, of this argument. And it just seems like a bunch of school children in the playground. It's like, yeah. can't we just come together, talk rationally, but, like, like we're but, doing? But hold on a minute, if one <laughs> side is trying to stop children being rendered infertile and, and, and having their bodies mutilated, and when we know that they're not born in the wrong body, that, I'm, I'm not sure there's a middle ground on that. I'm so sorry we have to leave it there. Zoe Chani, I really appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much indeed.